Uh, you know, some, some great attacking play from Wakefield and Warrington just got caught short. Benny Westwood, not set at marker. That's where he is. This is where he should be. Great collision win from Wakefield. And what does Sam Hobbs do? Jumps upstream, brings Vinnie Anderson in and scorches past Richie Mathers to come up with a very, very important try. Defence, the key, or not so at the minute for Warrington. Look, the markers lost collision. Paul Rauhee and Benny Westwood not square. Benny Westwood moves to the right-hand side. Paul Rauhee, he goes left. They actually split at marker. Beautiful play from Brad Drew, right up the middle. And Grix takes on Lee Brears and Chris Riley and puts Sean Gleeson away. Again, for another, another very, very important score. You'd like to see from this point John Clark a little bit deeper at marker and now coming upstream. He doesn't do it. It leaves Tyrone McCarthy one out against the big prop Moore. Offload to Leo Latu. And just look at that movement yet again right up the middle of Warrington's defence process. Scott Grix, who had a great game, backs up for fun. And you know you're in trouble when you're defending like this. Good movement and how powerful is Brad Drew. There's one defender, Adrian Morley, steps inside. Gareth Carvel comes across on lockup, gets done. Scott Grix now steps, that's the third one, beats Lee Mitchell. Then comes Michael Cooper, he misses. Ben Westwood, that's the fifth defender. Now Lee Brears on Sam Hobbs. That's six players missing six tackles in one play. Wakefield, far too powerful.